Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be working in my business planner, which is, let's look at the front of it again. This is the Erin Condren monthly, or sorry, deluxe monthly, I get that messed up every time, deluxe monthly planner. I do have some related videos on this, which I will link in the description below. However, if you guys are interested in seeing my first impressions and walkthrough, I'll throw it up in a card for y'all as well. I get the version that is 12 months, that is from January through December and I elected this year for 2019 to get all the notes pages. So I do have some um, pages kind of flagged for what I want to use them for, but as I'm setting these up, I'm putting these videos out just to show you guys how I'm using it and what I'm using it for. I've actually put out another video just recently that was on this, which is tracking all of my YouTube income um, and like lots of different revenue streams that I've got going on through my business. So if you guys are interested in checking that video out, again, I will throw it up in a card as well as down below for you guys. But today I am going to be talking about my bills that run through the business. So this is anything that's YouTube related or business related expenses that aren't specifically my Etsy shop. I do my Etsy thing a little bit different which I'll explain possibly when I set that up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that one on camera or not, but we'll see. But this is just YouTube expenses. YouTube is a little bit more encompassing of my life and things like that. So this is kind of more like generalized, like my LLC, if that makes sense. I am not a tax professional. I just wanna say that right off the bat. I'm not a tax professional. Do not take my tax advice on anything. I have consulted with a tax professional before or I put any of these things into my business budget. Depending on how you set up your business and the laws and restrictions in your state or your country, some things you can do, some things you can't do. It doesn't really matter because I'm not actually showing you anything. I am just showing you how I'm gonna set this up decoratively. So first things first, I am going to use this beautiful washi that is new for this year through Erin Condren. It's the Woven Wonder pattern, which is the same pattern that I have on the front, but I elected to go with a really neutral cover. So I did the white letters with, I believe this is taupe or light taupe um, for the actual cover and I love it. So I'm gonna use this as well as um, there are some little gold flags that have all the months that I'm gonna play with as well. And then I've got some of these that are also Erin Condren stickers that I'm gonna use as well. They also have the gold foil. And then I'm not sure, I pulled these out, so I'm gonna link them down below. But this is um, little computers that are really, really cute that I absolutely love from Piper Paper Company. And um, this sheet here is from Small Town Grace. I love this like little boss sticker. I think it's amazing. And then um, there's these like little money stickers. I think I got these from Paper Loving Mommy several years ago, like when I started first started planning like four years ago. Also, I'm gonna be using um, this sheet right here. This from Harriet Wright Designs. And I gotta say, like, I love her paper. It's so incredibly nice. Like, it's like butter. Okay, so anyway, let's, um, let's start playing with stuff. Oh, also, I am gonna be using this pen. This is, uh, it's not a pen, it's actually a marker. It is the Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent Marker. And I just love the way it feels. Like, I just, mm, something so satisfying about this little pencil here. Oh, not a pencil, what am I trying to say? It's a marker. They do come in a bunch of different colors. So there's the blue, there's also a black. I believe that there is a red and a green. So if you're not into blue, that's all right. There's also this little device here and I am going to link this down below. I got this on Amazon. Um, a Minnesota planner friend of mine had this in her arsenal one day and we were like planning and I was like, girl, what is that? And um, it's like a little cutter. It's called Slice by, I don't know, I can't see it properly. I know I have the link, so I'll link it down below. And um, it's also linked in my Amazon shop under planner favorites. So basically anything that I buy for my house or for planner stuff or YouTube stuff or whatever is all in that Amazon shop. So if you guys want to check it out, you can't. But the cool thing is, is um, you're supposed to be able to like cut it. I haven't even used it yet, but it's got like this little, hold on. It's got this like little, can you guys see that? like little blade, right? And I don't think, no, it won't, 
Well, I mean, I guess if you try hard enough, it'll cut you. But it's got like a little green thing on the top so you can kind of see where it's gonna go. Oops. Let's see if this works with this tape. Oh, yeah, that works, cool. Um, the reason I wanted to do it with this one is because this is like more of a, like a paper tape. It's not actually like washi tape, so you can't really rip it. I don't think, hold on, let me try to rip it. Hold on, let's, let's see. Oh, you can rip it, huh. In years past, it hadn't worked. Okay, well, I'm still gonna link this down below, but I probably, I don't know, I might use this. I might not, I don't know. I haven't fully decided yet, but it's a really cool little device and you know, you can just like, I don't know, do things with it. So anyway, uh, moving right along, let's stop messing with things and actually get into the video. All right, so I just laid this down. Sorry, I might have shown it. Um, I like to kind of go like this with the little bookmark here. This is from um, Erin Condren as well, but I feel like it kind of like smooths it out a little bit. And um, you know, that's what I need in my life as a little as a little smoothing. So my vision was originally to put this on here as well as one of these little like half moon shapes and put 2019. I know that's like super redundant because this is for 2019, but I just, I think I would like the way that that looks. So let's try it first with January and see what we like. I don't know. And I'm trying to see if I can like actually line things up properly. Hold on, let's. I'm a professional, y'all. I'm a professional. Okay. I want to try to get this so all of them look the same moving forward. So like January, and then we have February, and March, and April, and May, and you know, all that good stuff. But I want to have them kind of like look the same because I like a little consistency in my life. But I want that little tail right here to kind of hit the end of that line, I'll explain what that means in a second. Okay, so you see this line here, and then this line right here. You can't see the line anymore because it's now covering it. I wanted it to hit like right there. That, I like that. Okay, so, and then this little guy with the foil on the bottom, I wanted to kind of center and put that right in the middle. It looks like a little hat. Oh, does that look funny? I actually don't mind it. Let's leave it. I think we're gonna leave it. I like it. All right, so now I'm trying to figure out where I wanna put things. I want this on here somewhere. I also want like a YouTube button on here somewhere. And then I also want this on here somewhere as well, but I'm not sure like how I want like all of that to go. Um, here, I think, I think I have an idea. All right, let's pray to the sticker gods that I do this right. <laughs> let's see here. Okay, so that just kind of like tells me what it is. And then I was thinking of using this as well and putting in expenses. So I could put that right there. Okay, I kind of... I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging this. This is not on the piece of paper. This is just like a reminder to myself what I can um, put in that budget. I really like this. I think this looks kind of cool. Oh, sorry. I'm like, I should really zoom you guys in once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Whoops, whoops. But yeah, I think I'm into this. I think this looks good. See, we got our YouTube play button, a computer, expenses, the money. I got my paper tape washi stuff from Erin Condren at the bottom here. My January, it says 2019 on that little archway thing. 
I'm into it. Okay. So, and I've got one page for every month in here. So I am going to um, speed this up and do the rest of them because they're all going to look the same, but I'll flip through before I end the video here. Um, but yeah, I'm like, I'm pumped about this. I really, really like this. Okay. Let's speed up this footage. done it took a little while and my lighting's a little wonky now so i'm sorry about the lighting if it looks a little bit dark right now i hope i can fix it in post but anyway all of my layouts look the same but i've got my beautiful washi my january which is they're all gone now because they're all in here and then my little like crescent thing and all that good stuff all the links will be below i know i explained what it was before but um i think because i don't have enough of these little boss mugs i think i'm gonna just put one in january because you know why not? So I'm just gonna put it like right up here cause you know, the cuteness and all. But anyway, so I've got January and then we've got February. Sorry if it's a little glary just because of the foil, but I love that. I like, I kind of am into like the little crescent. I think that looks kind of cool. And then we've got March and then April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So I'm not 100% sure how I am going to like set up stuff right here. I'll probably end up putting in like the store or wherever it came from, the amount, the date, like, you know, kind of a list of things. Um, I do have like an old tax scheduler, so I do wanna do something with like codes and things like that. I might actually use stickers for that, to be honest, like little transparent dots and like codes of like what it means and all that good stuff. So I don't necessarily buy a ton of things, so the page front and back should be just enough for a month, and I think that should be just fine. But let's flip back to January here. I'm gonna pull this off real quick, and let's zoom you guys in. I'm gonna move this up here just a scotch. But yeah, that is it for my headers, for my business financial stuff for 2019, all of my expenses. If you guys have any questions, as usual, you know the drill. You can post them down below. And also, if you wanna be a part of the FDE family, feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the little bell notification so you know when I upload new content. And if you have any video suggestions, make sure to put them down in the comments below as well. I'm always up for suggestions. So anyway, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.